gamers, it's me. Let's try that again. Hello gamers, it's your girl Lady Public with Public Gaming, and I'm on my last brain cell. This video was so difficult to make. So many revisions, not even funny. So I asked Patreon, what's the next top five video they want me to do? They said, top five JRPGs I would like to see a remaster of Final Fantasy VII style. Now I took out the Final Fantasy VII style because it just added so much pressure and it can be a remaster, I, I don't care. This video was so difficult. We live in an age of remakes and remasters and there are so many great games that aren't as popular or groundbreaking or in some cases just unbearable to play in this day and age. There have been games I'm interested in story-wise but the graphics and archaic gameplay turns me away. So it's important to know there are some games on this list that I haven't played but would if it was polished to modern day standards. Also if there's games that have already been remade or remastered or will be remade and remastered to modern graphics they won't be on this list. All right, here we go. Number five. Movies are getting remade all the time, particularly Disney movies nowadays, but this game isn't particularly a movie, but it is certainly hailed as an interactive movie of sorts. Not because of quick time events spliced within the cutscenes, but just cutscene, play a little, a lot of cutscene, play a little, Xenosaga. The one and only Xeno game I haven't played. Ever since Chronicles got remade for the 3DS, then Chronicles X, Chronicles 2, the Xeno series really made a name for itself. Maybe expand on certain story elements since Xeno Saga was supposed to be six episodes instead of three. Give us those lengthy cutscenes and let people like me understand the Cosmos reference in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Unless it's just for aesthetic, then whatever, fuck if I know. I haven't played Xeno Saga! Let me and several others appreciate Cosmos being a blade in Chronicles 2. Come on, make the collection happen. Episodes 1 through 3. Who do I gotta talk to? Bandai Namco? Sony, maybe? Nintendo? Hello? Number four. <laughs> You know, I've reviewed a lot of JRPGs, from the SNES to the Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Wii, I think Wii U, Nintendo Switch, but never the often forgotten about Dreamcast, or the GameCube for that matter. I own both of those systems, but the Dreamcast was reserved for Jet Set Radio, Sonic, and Fantasy Star Online. And I remember my GameCube being pretty limited to Mario and Zelda titles. Funny enough, this game was made for the Dreamcast, remade for the GameCube, and your girl missed out both times. Skies of Arcadia. Among my friends, this game is the most praised, and it's frustrating being someone who is constantly playing JRPGs, not being able to contribute to the conversation. I want a remake for several reasons. One, accessibility. I don't want to dig around for my Wii that I could still play GameCube games and borrow my friend's copy. No, I want to own it. I want a box, damn it. Two, I think it could use a graphical enhancement. We kind of got an idea what the squad would look like in Valkyria Chronicles, all HD'd up, but I don't necessarily want the whole game in that style. It's a bit too damp looking. I kind of dig the Trials of Mana remake look for this game. Bright and loud colors, but knows how to bring it down too. Being in the sky all the time, I want an inviting blue. And as the sun sets, the colors in the sky darken. Another thing I think would be cool is fleshed out cutscenes with full on voice acting. I like that the characters are expressive, but hearing their voices would add that extra oomph. And lastly, I was chatting with a friend whose favorite JRPG is Skies of Arcadia, and he just wants more discoveries. Pretty much what the game is doing already, give us more of that. More unique NPCs to upgrade our ship more discoveries to uncover in their rich lore. It's just an imaginative world with various levels in the sky. Just more to observe, really. Skies is one of those games that regrettably got away from me. So, Nintendo and Sega should mend that. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Number three. I've always said Fantasy Star was my first JRPG. If you don't count Pokemon, then it's my second. But what's my third JRPG I ever recall playing? This game is another cult classic and one of the few games that adapts a wild, wild west theme. It has its own manga, a 22 episode anime, four sequels, a spin-off, and even was remade already, but not for a modern console. A game I've yet to review on this channel, but know it's coming. Wild Arms for the PlayStation. Now, I don't remember much about this game whatsoever now, but I recall adoring it as a child. Wild Arms is on this list because for me, it's one of the few partially 2D games that I wouldn't mind being remade. I'm such a stickler when it comes to sprites being remade. I'd be cool with re-releases of sprite-based games like Suikoden or Breath of Fire to make it more accessible. Maybe a few quality of life changes, 
but I don't really care for a whole remake shebang. It's strange, pixel art is sacred to me in most cases. Pokemon would be one of the exceptions. Sprites are so timeless, and I feel like the developers would give us a Secret of Mana scenario. Man, I don't trust these hoes with remaking sprite work, I just fucking don't. However, they somehow got Trials of Mana right. And obviously, not all 3D jumps are bad, it's just a coin toss sometimes, and I'm nervous for games that make that 2D to 3D transition. 3D to 3D is fine though. Funny enough, Wild Arms was remade on the PlayStation under the title Wild Arms Alter Code F. It featured new 3D environments, new playable characters, new dungeons, puzzles, and remixed soundtrack. And yeah, that's great and all, but it comes back to my complaint as they wiped out the original's unique charm of switching from 2D environments to 3D battles. It looks generic. Now, for its time, I can admit they made the right move as gaming was moving away from mere sprites into more detailed polygons. They were competing with Final Fantasy X, Kingdom Hearts, even Dragon Quest VIII. Big name titles. And it didn't help that the marketing sucked. Anywho, I don't know what developer I would really trust to give us a true to form remake, but I'd be overjoyed if someone did it. I want to return to these cute bomberman s versions of our cast. I would like them to keep the chibi look, but a little more rugged, as it is the Wild West after all. Number two. The 2000s were straight fire for JRPGs. However, there is one cult classic that got a mixed response. And especially after recently playing this game, I understand why. A great game, but absolutely flawed. The Legend of Dragoon, Sony's first JRPG they developed and published. The Legend of Dragoon has some incredibly powerful scenes that deserve to be remade in modern graphics. They already conveyed so much with these shoddy polygons. My heart wept and sank into my chest when certain scenes played out, and just imagining it with full remade graphics, let's say, with the Unreal Engine 4? Also, The Legend of Dragoon is so cinematic, not only with its story cutscenes, but transforming into a dragoon, dragoon magic, using items, and I think some of the enemies would look absolutely spectacular. Who doesn't want to see an assassin's cock in HD? <laughs> Plus, this game needs a lot of quality of life updates, mainly being able to practice your addition and get a feel for it before battle. A skip option for when you enter a battle shows the background every time. It takes forever to actually get into the fight. Plus, I want the voice acting to be redone, but is it weird that I kind of want it to be poor voice acting, just to keep the spirit of bad voice acting alive? It's strange to say, but it's part of its charm. Honorable mentions! I know many of you are expecting this title to be number one for reasons that go over my head. So this is a charitable honorable mention. This is for you, not for me. I think if this game was remade, it'd be a thousand times better, but I'd still have no interest in playing it. But I cannot deny this game deserves a remake. Made by a husband and wife couple and considered to be Final Fantasy VII story, Xenogears. I think this game would sell exceptionally well, and it would be able to expand upon the second disc, which was heavily narrated due to budget. Although I would argue that the second disc being cut down to what it is, is a blessing, because I was long done with that game, 30 to 40 hours after it actually ended. Just pretty up the graphics, some new character art, do something about jumping in that damn Tower of Babel, and keep the same epic but I think convoluted story. I'm sure fans would throw money. I'm pretty sure now I have an aversion to PlayStation 2 games, despite them being my favorite back in the day. I don't feel they aged all that well gameplay-wise, and I don't know, I just don't get as excited about them as I am like old classic PlayStation 1 titles. But damn it, I want the original Dot .hack to be remade. You gave us GU, now give us the original. Dot .hack is a great game. I mean, it's actually incredibly flawed, but I love this game. Lead developer of CyberConnect 2 recently issued a statement saying there's no plans for a remake or a remaster. And while they would love to work on it, to send your request to the publisher, Bandai Namco. And in the business world, money talks, so buy the .hack GU remaster to show that there is a want for it. Holla at Bandai Namco, get me my fucking remaster! And while I could continue, honestly, I'm trying to keep the video short. If you look at my thumbnail, these would be all my honorable mentions. Number one. I always say this, but this game is the second horror game I've ever played, only to Luigi's Mansion. I know, I know, I'm a chicken shit, but people assured me this game wasn't so much scary as it was gory, and I love gore. Parasite Eve, which funny enough, the story of Parasite Eve was originally tossed around as an idea for Final Fantasy VII by the Final Fantasy series creator, Hironobu Sakaguchi. Clearly that didn't happen, but that's okay, because we get the eerie tale that was given to us as Parasite Eve. 
So I have a thing for cinematics. Hear me out though, one of the first cinematics we see is a rat mutating into this rat-like creature? The small thing roars as its tiny teeth grow into fangs, and its fur begins to peel back and break apart. Its tail splits to make this giant claw and turns into this monstrosity. But then you see it in the game and it loses 80% of the grotesque charm. One of the greatest things about Parasite Eve is seeing how all these everyday creatures become deformed, how they move, attack, and even sound. This is a game you can look at and see so many areas of improvement given today's technology. The great thing is Parasite Eve in regards to cinematics already nails it, but a visual enhancement never hurt. I want them to keep the fixed camera angles, I love the art direction, the pre-rendered cutscenes, and huzzah, technology has advanced so that they don't need to automate the opera vocals. They couldn't use the live recording because it wouldn't fit on the disc, but now they can. Come on, Square, give us those authentic vocals. And I would also like to be able to move faster. If the enemies move faster too, that's fine, but please let Aya move faster. Please. Kind of interesting that two of my takes, one being an honorable mention, might have been the story for Final Fantasy VII. Maybe some of the Final Fantasy VII remake goodness will rub off on them. I know some people are like, wow, no Suikoden? Yeah, because I don't like when people fuck with pixel art. I like pixel art to stay pixel art. I mean, you could spruce it up a bit, but that's about it. Tell me how I became more interested in Dragon Quest XI after they revealed an SNES 16-bit look of it. That's my love for pixel art. Still not playing it though. I guess what I'm saying is, for the most part, I don't give a shit about sprites turning into 3D. I can rant about the aesthetic of remasters and remakes and changing the art style, but that's a whole nother video. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what games you want to see remastered, remade, or even revived. Well, if you like top five videos, then please click the top box. Bottom box is my Let's Play channel. And of course, consider supporting me on Patreon. And for $1, you'll be able to recommend me your top five suggestions and later vote on which one I'll do. Currently live right now, and it gets you into my Discord. Hope you support, and thanks for watching.